how do you vote? Vote in person at the polling station. Before an election, you'll get a poll card saying where your polling station is. Polling stations are open from 7am to 10pm. As long as you're in the queue by 10pm, you'll be allowed to vote. When you go to the polling station, remember to take a correct form of photo ID with you. This could be your driving license or your passport, or you can apply for a free electoral identity card at eoni.org.uk, where you'll also find the full list of accepted ID. You'll also find this on your poll card. Don't worry if your ID is out of date. You can still use it at the polling station. At the polling station, the staff will check your name and address, as well as checking your ID. They'll then give you your ballot paper. Take your ballot paper into a polling booth. Remember to be respectful of other people so everyone can vote in secret. There'll be pencils at the polling station, but you're welcome to use your own pen if you'd like. Mark who you want to vote for on the ballot paper as it instructs. You may have two or more ballot papers for different elections. For elections to the Northern Ireland Assembly and your local council, you can vote by ranking candidates in order of preference. One, two, three, and so on. You can vote for as many or as few candidates as you'd like. Don't worry if you make a mistake, just ask a member of staff and they'll give you a new ballot paper. When you've completed your choices, put your ballot paper in the ballot box. If you're unsure about anything or you need assistance, just ask a member of staff and they will be happy to explain the process before you vote. At the end of the day, the ballot box is taken away for all the votes to be counted. Your vote will be kept safe and secret and no one will find out who you voted for. And that's it. Voting by post. If you won't be able to get to the polling station on polling day, you could apply to vote by post. To vote by post, you need to apply to the Electoral Office for Northern Ireland and you'll need to give a reason why you can't get to the polling station on polling day. This may be because of illness or disability or because you're going to be on holiday or it may be that your work arrangements make it too difficult to get to your polling station. You can download an application form or you can ask for one to be sent to you. You'll need to give your date of birth and either your signature or your digital registration number on your application form and again when you vote. If you registered to vote online, you will have a digital registration number or DRN for short and you'll need to use this to confirm who you are. Don't worry if you can't find or remember your DRN. Just contact the electoral office and they will resend it to you. A postal vote pack will be sent to you a couple of weeks before the election. Follow the instructions and put everything back in the free post pre-addressed envelope and return it to the electoral office for Northern Ireland to be counted. Remember, your postal vote needs to be returned by 10 p.m. on polling day if you want your vote to be counted in the election. If you can't get to the polling station on polling day, you could ask someone you trust to vote on your behalf. This is called voting by proxy and your trusted person is often called your proxy. As with a postal vote, if you need to vote by proxy, you have to apply to the Electoral Office for Northern Ireland and you'll need to give an accepted reason, such as being on holiday or a disability. You can download an application form or you can ask for one to be sent to you. You'll need to tell your trusted person who you'd like to vote for. On polling day, they need to go to your polling station to vote. This may be different to where they go to vote. Your trusted person will need to take a correct form of ID with them to the polling station so they can vote on your behalf. This should be their own ID rather than yours. Learn more about how to cast your vote at electoralcommission.org.uk learning.